Zer has just arrived in Destiny 2. He's located in the Tower Hangar this week. He's got a God Roll Hawk Moon and he's got some pretty good legendary armor if you like that future War Cult set. In today's video, we're going to do a full breakdown of everything he has. We got the Black Talon Exotic Sword. This thing is actually really strong in PvP, has some application in PvE. I'm sure most of you already have it, though. It's been in the game for a long time since Forsaken. Next up, we've got the Aeon Swift exotic gauntlets for the hunters now these are of course extremely good in challenging content or making power ammo and special ammo for your teammates these have really high intellect and mobility maybe not necessarily the best stat distribution overall but an exotic that everyone should have next up we have Antaeus wards which is a really fun exotic for titans out there and a lot of people hate playing against titans that use this they have been nerfed like three times now though so they're not nearly as potent as they used to be and this role has an insane 26 mobility and i mean insane in a bad way that's not what you want on the Antaeus ward so we're gonna pass on that this week next up we have controversial hold another excellent exotic for warlocks especially if you like to use void warlocks out there i know there are a few void walkers out there now because warlock is so strong but if you are going to use a void warlock this is one of the best exotics to use this role, however, got has 20 mobility, which sucks. So we're going to pass on that as well this week. Then we're going to look at all of the weapons. I'm going to inspect all of them so you can see all of the roles. We got a False Promises, a 360 RPM auto rifle, Dynamic Sway Swashbuckler. That's an okay roll of that auto rifle. And then we have a Volpacula with Harmony and Shoot Loot. Just an average roll of the Volpacula as well. Spare Rations is going to have Kinetic Tremors on it this week and a Moving Target. And obviously everyone's going to be looking forward to that Midnight Coup that's coming out pretty soon. Next up, we got a Far Future here. We got Frenzy and Quick Draw. It's just an okay roll of the Far Future as well. Under your skin, another craftable weapon right here. We got Adaptive Tunnel Vision. So I'm going to pass on that roll. Threaded Needle, unfortunately, is outclassed by other Void Linear Fusion Rifles. But uh, Vorpal Roll, 10% damage on a heavy weapon. We'll pass on that. We have a Plank Stride here. This is going to have one for all killing wind craftable weapon as well 900 rpm machine guns are a little bit of bullet hose so nothing too crazy with the legendary weapons this week the armor though there's been bringing some really high stat armor i don't know if bungie tweaked something in his algorithm but he's got the future war cult set this week so if you want that looks pretty good and we've got 20 mobility and 20 discipline gauntlets on the warlock and we've got a pretty even distribution on the chest the helmet is probably one of the better item pieces for the Warlock with 18 resilience, 19 intellect. And then the boots will pass on those, a little too much mobility on that. And we'll go through the Titan and Hunter sets in just a moment. But first, we got to talk about this really, really nice roll of the Hawk Moon. We've got Eye of the Storm, which pretty much every top tier PvP player says that this is the best perk to have on this. Obviously, in duels, what you have is it's hard to land that third shot. Eye of the Storm is going to help you land that shot because it's going to boost you're going to be more accurate and boost the handling as your health gets lower so this is actually one of the best perks for hawk moon we have smooth grip to go with it so we got an increase to five stability five handling which is really nice obviously you want that handling and then full bore which does unfortunately decrease that stability and handling by i believe five by each so it kind of negates smooth grip but you do get the positive benefit of getting an increase to range and we're still sitting at 71 handling currently with this roll it still has excellent handling and it's gonna have really really high range of course so it's actually a really nice roll potentially the god roll of the hawk moon if you don't already have an eye of the storm roll i know zer has been bringing these things like crazy though so most of you probably do have that roll of the hawk moon now we're gonna go through the armor sets on the other characters so that we can see what's out there first up we got hunters gauntlets for the hunters we got 64 stats 21 resilience 15 strength gauntlets that's a decent roll for the chest, we got super high mobility, super high strength. For the helmets, we've got high resilience, recovery, and strength. And for the boots, we've got super high 26 strength and 20 resilience for the hunter armor. So some decent hunter armor this week. For the titans this week, we got 65 stat gauntlets. Those are okay. And we got 64 stat chest with high resilience, high strength. It's actually pretty solid, especially if you're using a strand titan, where you need that strength and you need that resilience. So that's actually like a, a really really nice chest piece for strand titans out there and then we have ridiculously high discipline with 26 on the helmet so that's decent with 66 stats and 62 stats on the boots with high recovery and high strength so some really solid armor this week from Zer, and then that crazy roll of the hawk moon make sure you're subscribed follow the, following the channel stay up to date on all the news in destiny 2 i'll see you in the next one thanks for watching later